Hello everyone, let's go through this practice problem. So according to the problem, there is originally some sphere with a charge Q. So I'll represent that as a sphere with a charge big Q. But at some point, a portion of that charge is transferred to a second sphere. So after that transfer happens, we have two spheres. One of them has the charge small Q. And the original one has the charge big Q minus the small Q to represent the small charge that it's lost. And the rest of the problem asks about maximizing the electrostatic force between them. Now recall that the Coulomb force, the Coulomb's law, tells us that the electrostatic force between two charged particles is equal to the Coulomb constant K multiplied by the product of their charges divided by the square of the distance between them. So let's apply that to this case. For our purposes, the force between these two particles is going to be equal to the Coulomb law. This is going to be the Coulomb constant K, multiplied by the charge on one of them, which is small q, multiplied by the charge on the other one, which I'm going to write in parentheses as big Q minus small q. And this is divided by r squared. So this is our formula for the force between the two particles, but now we want to find what the ratio of charges is required in order to maximize this force. Now this is where things are going to get a little tricky, because we're going to need to know calculus for this. If we want to maximize a function, we have to take the derivative of that function and then set it equal to zero. So let's do that here. First off, remember that when we are maximizing functions, we can usually exclude the terms of the, of the equation that don't contain the variable we are differentiating with respect to, because that simplifies things and it rarely affects the result. So for our purposes, if we're trying to differentiate this, for, this uh, equation with respect to the charge, small q, we can ignore the terms with r squared and the Coulomb constant. So the actual, more simple function we're differentiating is small q multiplied by big Q minus small q. Now let's take the derivative of this function. Uh, first, let's simplify it up a bit. Let's uh, distribute over the parentheses here. So this more simply would be small q multiplied by big Q minus small q multiplied by small q. So that is small q squared. And now let's take the derivative of this. So df dq. So we'll use the power rule of differentiation for that. So the small q times big Q, that just means that the small q goes away. So that's big Q minus the derivative of q squared. Well, again, power rule on this turns this into 2 small q. And that's it. That, that's our derivative. So we set this equal to 0 and then solve this for the ratio small q divided by big Q. At this point, this is just basic algebra, so we can add 2q to both sides of the equation. So big Q is equal to 2 small q. And then we can divide both sides of the equation by big Q and 2, which tells us that the ratio small q divided by big Q is equal to 1 half or 0 0.5. So this means that when this function is maximized, the ratio small q to big Q is equal to 1 half, or 0 0.5. And that is the answer to this problem. And that is it for this video. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as it'll help me out in making more videos just like this. And if you have any questions or need help, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out as best as I can. If you have any requests for a future video, or you'd just like to hang out, my Discord server and my alternate YouTube channels are all linked in the description below. So check that out if you'd like. That's all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.